YouTube is a place for LGBT to become depressed because of comment sections and thumbs down ratios on popular videos that talk about LGBT issues. Could be the most innocuous thing being talked about. It could be someone just, it could be a coming out story. And there'll be massive more thumbs down than thumbs up. And there'll be comments like degenerate. I remember even a, a, was it a Vox or a Vice video? Uh, talking about uh, Chinese drag queens in China, right? And showing that there's even a culture there at all of that. And, nope, massive more thumbs down. Oh, degenerate, what's wrong with you people? Just, and, and I'm just going, what the hell? You know, just... What's depressing is the way that it the, the anti-SJW crowd has gotten so bad that just about anything that pushes, that even dis puts on display any culture other than the, the standard straight white culture, anything that even displays a different culture is 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 called identity politics they get labeled as pushing identity politics i mean just the fact that you could someone could 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 consider a coming out video identity politics it's it's basically just someone not being able to handle anything other than 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 white people culture shit straight white people culture shit no no you're talking about something else you, we can't have that no you no stop stop your 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 white fright your your white fragility your your just 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 stop it stop being such a fucking child jesus christ People coming out of the closet, okay, still have a lot of stuff, still have a lot of crap that they have to deal with. Some of you, those of you that yeah, complain, that, that would tell someone, well, what's the big deal? Why do you have to make such a show about it? Because for that person, it is a big deal. You have no idea what it's like. Those of you saying, what's the big deal? You have no idea what it's like to have, have it where you feel like half of society thinks you're an abomination for existing. When you have that feeling, and you have to look past it and say, yes, I'm gay. Yes, I've, I, I, uh, I don't care about this, this aspect of society that still exists. Coming out is a major thing for someone, major thing. You don't know what it's like. To feel like half of half of society is gonna look down on you if they know about you with something, you can say, "Well, just stay in the closet." Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah, it's, don't be free to be yourself. Pretend that you're straight. Live your life pretending you're straight. Pretend you have these interests. Pretend you look at things this way. Pretend, pretend, pretend. No, no. People shouldn't have to pretend. And to you, that, that shouldn't be a big deal because, well, you don't, ha you don't have to pretend. It's just your way. A constant thing of what's the big deal if people have to live their life the way I do? 
what, what, why does, why is that bad? Is there something wrong with the way that I live my life? No, there's nothing wrong with the way you live your fucking life. It's when you expect others to live it like yours is just, just, I, I, it's that same thing of, it's, it's part of that same thing of it, it being messed up when someone s says, you know, I, you can't do this because of my beliefs versus I can't do this because of my beliefs. Kind of fits in there a little bit. Or maybe it doesn't and I just suddenly thought of it. I don't know. But it's a big deal when someone comes out of the closet. It's a big deal. To those of you who can't relate, I'm sorry you can't relate, okay? But at least believe that for the people that are dealing with it, it's a big deal. If it's not a big deal to you, fine. But don't tell others that that this shouldn't be a big deal to them. Okay? When you have that attitude towards others, okay, do you know what that's called? That's called privilege. Anyway. This platform is not LGBT friendly. Just look at it when YouTube Spotlight puts out an LGBT friendly video. Look what happens with that. You're not saying you're you're putting doing putting I can't talk. <laughs> you're you're putting out a video that uh, that doesn't put straight white culture on display. We're we're, we're mad at that. We're so angry. Uh. It's pathetic when you look at it, when you really look at it, but I, I wouldn't want to be a teenager and trying to come out right now. You know? Because the moment you come out, well, now uh, you either have your friends, uh, you, you, you can have, be friends with those who, uh, well, there is an actual SJW mindset that goes pretty over the top. You get friends with the, the extreme SJWs, or you can be on the other side and uh, be essentially in the closet. Which, which do you choose? Yeah, I wouldn't want that choice right now. I wouldn't want to be a gay teen right now. Now, if... Now, for those that are just completely able to disconnect from the net entirely, you know, and be a teenager, then then maybe it wouldn't be bad. But I don't know. I, I'm I'm glad that IGTV has come out, and it may give people more of a chance of of having coming out stories without being bombarded with uh, phrases like degenerate. You know, I was just thinking about. I, I, sorry for all the big pause. I was just thinking about how how great it would be to live in a society where. If I had a boyfriend, I could walk hand in hand in just about any anywhere in the US and not have people look at me with disgust. That I could that I could just decide to hold the hand of of my uh, boyfriend 
and not have to think about whether we're going to get looked at negatively. That would be wonderful. That would be great. And that's something as if you're a straight white guy, you never have to think about. Never. You might have to think about, oh, are we walking in this bad area, right? But you never have to think about whether people are looking at you negatively just because you're holding your girlfriend's hand. You don't have to think about you never have it you never have it in the back of your head that I mean a lot of it has to do with with the perception of what others think of you right there is a certain amount of thicker thicker skin that someone has to get as they get older right but there are levels of this there are levels of this the amount that someone has to go through the the <sighs> anyway i guess i've kind of ruined the video i've ruined the video